I want to talk about the relationship between angles and their opposite sides. I want you to pretend that this is a triangle, that there's an elastic over here because I'm going to change the size of this triangle. So pretend there's an elastic connecting the ends of these noodles so that you have a triangle. I want you to watch what happens to the opposite side of this angle. So this angle across from it is the opposite side. See how small that is? Okay, so see how small that angle is? All right, watch what happens as I make the angle larger. Watch what happens to the opposite side. As I make that angle larger, the opposite side is going to get longer, okay? So there's a relationship between angles and the sides of triangles. Short sides are opposite. Opposite means across from. Short sides are opposite small angles and long sides are opposite large angles. Likewise, this works in the other direction. If you have a small angle, small angles are opposite short sides and large angles are gonna be opposite long sides. So let's look at a couple examples. So I can either give you information about the angles and ask you to give me information about the sides, or I could give you information about the sides and ask you to give me information about the angles. So let's start with this one. Um, when you're dealing with classifying or ordering the sides, it's really important that you know all three angle measures. So in this particular example, I've only given you information about two of the angles. So let's find that third one before we make any decisions. So I'm going to go ahead and add the two that I have. And then I'm going to subtract that from 180 to find out <laughs> what my last angle was. I was jumping to my answer there. Okay, so if my last angle there is 70, now if I put those angles in order, I can then order their opposite sides. In other words, P was my smallest angle, O was my middle angle, and H was my largest angle. So if I go to all the opposite sides from those angles, I'll have my answer. So first of all, let me double check my directions. My directions are telling me to put these in increasing angle, um, order, my, list my sides in increasing order. So increasing means small to big. So my smallest one is here at 34. If I go opposite that, I find side OH. So OH is going to be my smallest side. My middle angle here was at O. If I go opposite angle O, I find this side here, HP. And then my largest angle right here at 76, if I go opposite that, I find this side, OP. Okay, so there are my sides in increasing order. Okay, but like I said, it's going to work here in the other direction. So double check my what I'm being asked to do, identify my largest angle. Okay, so right now I just need to, be, to know the biggest one. I don't need to know the small in the middle. So um, I'm looking at my size, I've got decimals. So if you struggle with decimals, let's kind of review that very quickly. If I just put my, number, my hand over the tenths place, I just look at the whole numbers. That one's around 11, that one's around 12, that one's around 12. So I already know that this one's going to be smaller. Um, and again, I'm looking for the largest one, so I want, want my longest side right now. Okay, if I look at these two, they're both a little bigger than 12, so to decide which one is smaller or bigger, I'm going to go to the tenths place. So I'm not looking any further than the tenths place right now and I won't need to look any further because I can make my decision right now. 12.0 is smaller than 12.3. So 12 and 3 tenths is going to be my longest side. So if AJ is my longest side, my largest angle will be opposite that. So go across from there and I find angle K. Um, I want to review very quickly here. How do I name that with three letters? When I see this question as a multiple choice, I see a lot of students miss it. Even though they know the concept, they seem to have forgotten how to name angles with three letters. So remember, if, if I see three letters, I'm looking for K is going to be where the vertex is, so that needs to be in the middle. So in other words, I could name this as angle AKJ or J. K, A.
but what's important is that K has to be in the center. Okay, A, K, J. So that's the largest angle named with three letters. All right, you try a couple examples now.